These days, it's China, not Russia, that the US sees as its chief competitor and, in darker moments, the greatest long-term threat to peace. Most agree war between the US and China would be catastrophic. Yet both sides worry about the other developing a decisive edge in any conflict. They have plunged their researchers into an arms race worthy of the most audacious of science fiction writing, stretching from combat robots to battles in space. In search of such cutting-edge weapons, I visited Aberdeen Proving Ground, a facility on America's east coast that hosts a US Army research base. I went to explore the military technologies in the making that will shape the warfare of the future. We're always going to be at war, unfortunately, as human nature. Take the exoskeleton lab. Scientists stress that the days of the Terminator are still far off. But here at the US Army Research Lab, they are taking the first mechanical steps to develop ways to team human and machine. This is like one of the, the simplest attempts at an exoskeleton, it's just an arm that attaches to your uh, you know, torso through the body armor. And it allows you to carry over 25 pounds of weight. So this is just a research device for a future soldier who wants to be more mobile and more lethal. How early do you think something like this could be deployed? Are we looking at two, five, ten, twenty? Unforeseen. Uh, hopefully not that. So it depends on how fast the technology transitions. Um, so what you're wearing is um, some IMU sensors. So uh, they measure accelerations and body orientation. And then you're also wearing some electromyography sensors, which basically captures the electrical signals associated with muscle contraction. So we're able to look at accuracy, precision, and also target engagement time when you're using the third arm versus when you're not using the third arm to see whether or not it's actually having the benefits that it's being designed to have. As scientists make advances in artificial intelligence, an endeavor likely to take decades to come to fruition. Many at the Pentagon believe robots will make the most difference to warfare, but that they will still ultimately answer to human control. I do believe that the intelligent things, the robotics, is probably the most impactful, yes. Dr. Cott, who has studied artificial intelligence for 30 years, argues that robots might also bring down the human costs of war by reducing casualty rates. Humans might not be physically present at all. And can you imagine a scenario of robots fighting robots? Our robots probably will fight robots, absolutely. There's no question about it. For example, uh, one of the things we want to do is to have robots that are constantly out there watching for those other enemy drones and uh, uh, defeating them. And, and it's probably going to happen very soon. In their robot lab, Scientists are developing the Minitor, a motorized robot that will eventually be able to sense and traverse any landscape. I'm looking at animals such as uh, greyhounds, cheetahs, um, highly dynamic animals, uh, and looking at different leg geometries like a, a kangaroo or a cheetah leg. Is one more mobile and more uh, diverse than the other? The tanks, military vehicles, and armed drones of the future may one day walk on legs, just like humans. So the thing that a human can do that a truck and a tank can't is balance. And the team here is trying to marshal that quality known as proprioception and put it into mechanical vehicles that can react to any kind of condition underfoot. While some breakthroughs are still far into the future, the era of stealth fighter jets that radar can't detect has already arrived. The US claims no other country will be able to touch its flagship new fighter, the F-35, for decades. The first time I took off and I saw everything that exists around me, I, I knew I was in a completely different ballgame than ever before. Right. A completely different world. Besides being stealthy, it also amasses and sends live data, acting as the flying eyes, ears uh, oh yeah. and brain of combat able to send information to missiles, ships and commanders coping with the fog of war. It's really about this clear visor and it projects on here how fast we're going, how high we are, where we're heading, where uh, our, our enemies are and where our home base is. In space, which the US now sees as another potential arena for warfare, humans may simply react too slowly 
for the kind of lightning-fast communication that is needed. As the US and China race to develop the upper hand in a bid to deter the other from engaging in conflict, they are chasing after the most futuristic technology. Labs like this one are trying to turn the most cutting-edge ideas into reality. <laughs>